history of cool. Last summer, I was at the San Francisco Silent Film Festival, and at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, they showed Douglas Fairbanks in the Mark of Zorro in the Castro Theater, it was a thousand seater theater. It was half filled with children under the age of 10. Children watching this movie that's almost 100 years old, laughing and cheering and being just as excited as they would be for, you know, Johnny Depp or something, only it's Douglas Fairbanks. You know, a lot of people think that these classic films, people can't relate to them nowadays, but if a six-year-old can, then I think pretty much anybody can. So I think that's really cool. I think cool is sort of an undefinable thing. Joan Jett, she's cool. How is she cool? I don't know. It's just sort of a way of being and seeing things and living. You can't make yourself cool. You just are or you aren't. Maybe you are and you don't know you are, kind of like when you're happy, you don't know. You're happy until you're sad. So maybe you only know you're cool when you're uncool. I would make everybody happy with the bodies that they're given. Get rid of all of this body shaming and people being afraid to be naked even by themselves. I think bodies are beautiful and painters have known this since they were, you know, cavemen painting bodies on walls and they, you know, those giant sculptures of the goddesses with the giant hips and things like that. And if people could go back to that and realize that the bodies we're given are great, that would be really cool. History of cool, make some. Call for cool. Three questions. Comment, make a video, send us a link to make some at historyofcool.com. What do you think is cool?